It is summertime. It is time for picnics. It's time for barbecues. It's time for being out in the sun and cooking over open fires. It is my favorite time of year, summer. Every summer barbecue and picnic is incomplete without potato salad. Now I'm a connoisseur of potato salad, but I also like Caesar salad. So I thought, let's mix the two. Let's make a Caesar potato salad. I already have my potatoes cooked for this. We have some beautiful little Yukon gold potatoes. Nice waxy flesh, beautiful flavor, sweet. Now the key to cooking them is not to boil them. You want to just simmer them in heavily salted water. When you boil them, they get agitated too much and you can break up the potatoes, make them too mushy. But if you simmer them just into being fork tender, they'll never fall apart. So let's make our Caesar dressing. All right, we're gonna start with our one extra large egg yolk. Next up, we've got four medium cloves of garlic. We've got four anchovy fillets here. These are anchovies in oil, not salt. One tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And to add a little extra flavor, we've got a tablespoon of shiro miso. A teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. I'm just going to take my stick blender, drop it in. I'm going to add in half my oil. Starting with about half a cup. Now just drizzle in the rest. A little thick, so we're gonna add in two tablespoons of lemon juice. All right, let's give our dressing a taste. That's Caesar. That lovely brininess from the anchovy, that beautiful mustard spice to it. The miso is giving it that umami flavor. Now let's prep our potatoes. These are a little bit bigger than a golf ball. I'm gonna cut them in half, and each half cut them into six pieces. That should be the perfect size, perfect little bite-sized morsels. All right, so we're gonna take a couple tablespoons of our Caesar dressing, put in the bottom of our bowl here, dump in some of our potatoes, about half. This is three pounds of Yukon Golds. And just toss it gently, we don't wanna break up all of our potatoes. And a little bit more of our dressing, rest of our potatoes. Now at this point we can either add some Parmesan cheese or if you want to go dairy free, leave it out. Give it a toss. Let's get a little more cheese in there. We're going to hit with two big pinches black pepper. I love Caesar dressing with a lot of black pepper. It's about a full tablespoon. Season it to your liking when it comes to the pepper. Frankly, season everything to your liking while you're cooking. I think that's going to do it. Let's give it a taste. Mm. I'm actually going to add the rest of the dressing. So our Caesar recipe today made about a cup and a quarter worth of dressing, which is the perfect amount for three pounds of potatoes, depending on how creamy you want it. Let's give it another taste. There we go. Now that tastes like a Caesar. Mm. Mine does need a touch more salt, another teaspoon of salt to it. Always taste as you're cooking. The anchovies you pick up may have more salt than mine did, or they may have less. Now for mine personally, I'm going to use some uh, green onions here to finish them off along with a little bit more black pepper on top to plate and some more cheese. Give our green onions here a nice thin slice. I'm using two full bunches. I want a nice oniony flavor mixed in. Let's throw most of this in to our mixture and leave just a little bit to put on top when we plate. Now let's hit with some more cheese and a little sprinkle of our green onions. All right, let's give it one last final taste. With that little bit of extra cheese, the black pepper, and our scallions. Mmm. 
That is perfect in every way. Could easily add in some celery to this for a little extra crunch or some diced white onions. And keep mine nice and simple, just like a Caesar salad. Dressing, cheese, a little bit of a garnish. Mm. So throw out your regular potato salad. And this summer, make a Caesar potato salad. If you wanna check out my summer cocktails, click on up there. And if you wanna check out some of my other side dishes, click right here. Until next time, I'm Ron the Cook.